Hello, it's story time. Here we go. At the end of the story, you won't believe what happened. Don't close it. In the heart of an ancient forest, where towering trees whispered secrets and dappled sunlight danced on the forest floor, lived a small dwarf man. He was no taller than the mushrooms that dotted the landscape, and his beard, long and white, brushed the ground as he walked. Despite the forest's beauty, the dwarf was plagued by a deep fear, fear of the creatures that inhabited the woods. From the rustling of leaves to the distant hoots of owls, every sound sent shivers down his spine. He would often tremble at the thought of crossing paths with the forest's inhabitants, imagining their fierce eyes and sharp claws. So each day the dwarf man would tiptoe through the woods, his eyes darting around nervously, searching for a safe place to hide. One day as he wandered deeper into the forest, his fears got the best of him. The rustling of a nearby bush caused his heart to race, and without thinking, he scurried toward a cluster of mushrooms. These mushrooms, with their bright red caps speckled with white spots, stood tall enough to provide him with shelter. He squeezed himself under the largest one, pulling his knees to his chest and burying his face in his hands. The dwarf's breath was ragged, his heart pounding in his chest as he waited for the danger to pass. But the only thing that came was the gentle breeze, rustling the leaves and carrying the sweet scent of pine. As time passed, the dwarf remained hidden, too frightened to emerge from his tiny shelter. Hours went by, and the forest began to settle into the quiet calm of the afternoon. The dwarf peeked out from under his mushroom, his eyes scanning the surroundings. All seemed peaceful, yet his fear lingered. He knew he couldn't stay under the mushroom forever, but the thought of venturing out alone filled him with dread. He closed his eyes, wishing for the courage to face his fears, yet feeling utterly powerless. Just as despair began to creep into his heart, he heard a soft, almost musical sound, a chittering noise that seemed to come from above. Curiosity overpowered his fear, and the dwarf slowly tilted his head up, his eyes widening at the sight before him. Perched on the branch of a nearby tree was a small squirrel, its bushy tail flicking back and forth. The squirrel's eyes were bright and inquisitive, and it seemed to be watching the dwarf with interest. For a moment, the dwarf froze, unsure of what to do. His instinct was to run, but something in the squirrel's gentle gaze made him pause. The squirrel chittered again, and this time it hopped down from the branch, landing gracefully on the ground just a few steps away from the dwarf. The dwarf felt a mixture of fear and wonder as the squirrel approached him. It moved with such ease and confidence as if it had no reason to fear anything in the forest. The squirrel stopped just before the dwarf, its tiny nose twitching as it sniffed the air. The dwarf held his breath, waiting for the squirrel to scurry away or worse, attack him. But instead, the squirrel tilted its head, as if trying to understand the dwarf's fear. The small creature's gentle demeanor began to calm the dwarf's racing heart, and he found himself slowly unclenching his fists. As the squirrel continued to watch him, the dwarf began to feel a sense of comfort he hadn't known in a long time. The squirrel wasn't threatening. In fact, it seemed to be trying to communicate something. The dwarf's fear started to melt away, replaced by a growing sense of curiosity. Could this tiny creature be offering him friendship? The thought seemed absurd, yet the dwarf couldn't shake the feeling that the squirrel was different from the other animals he had feared for so long. He took a deep breath, steadying himself and allowed the squirrel to come even closer. The squirrel moved with a grace that fascinated the dwarf. It circled around him, inspecting the mushroom he had hidden under, and then darted back to the dwarf's side. The dwarf's eyes followed the squirrel's every movement, his fear gradually replaced by a sense of wonder. He noticed how the squirrel seemed to enjoy the simple pleasures of the forest. The rustling leaves, the warmth of the sun, the softness of the moss beneath its feet. The dwarf realized that the forest, which had always seemed so terrifying, was also full of beauty and life. He began to see the world through the squirrel's eyes, and for the first time, he felt a flicker of joy in his heart. Encouraged by the squirrel's calm presence, the dwarf slowly emerged from his hiding place. He stood up, his small frame still dwarfed by the towering trees around him, but he no longer felt as overwhelmed. The squirrel chittered softly as if urging him to explore the forest further. The dwarf hesitated for a moment, but then he took a step forward, and then another. With the squirrel by his side, he began to walk through the forest, 
his fear gradually fading with each step. He marveled at the way the sunlight filtered through the leaves, casting a golden glow on the forest floor. He listened to the gentle rustling of the leaves, the distant chirping of birds, and the soft murmur of a nearby stream. As they walked, the squirrel led the dwarf to a part of the forest he had never seen before. It was a small clearing, surrounded by wildflowers and tall grass. The air was filled with the sweet scent of blooming flowers, and the sound of buzzing bees added a lively melody to the scene. The dwarf felt a sense of peace wash over him as he took in the beauty of the clearing. The squirrel darted ahead, playfully chasing its own tail before stopping to nibble on a seed. The dwarf watched with a smile, feeling a warmth in his heart that he hadn't felt in years. The dwarf and the squirrel spent the afternoon exploring the clearing together. The squirrel would dart ahead, climbing trees and leaping from branch to branch, while the dwarf followed at his own pace, taking in the sights and sounds of the forest. The dwarf began to notice the small details he had once overlooked. The delicate patterns on a butterfly's wings, the way the wind made the tall grass sway, the vibrant colors of the wildflowers. The forest no longer seemed like a place of fear. It was a place of wonder, full of life and beauty. As the sun began to set, casting a warm orange glow over the forest, the dwarf and the squirrel made their way back to the cluster of mushrooms where they had first met. The dwarf felt a deep sense of gratitude for the squirrel's companionship. It had shown him that the forest was not something to be feared, but something to be embraced and cherished. The squirrel had given him the courage to face his fears and see the world in a new light. The dwarf sat down under the mushroom, feeling a sense of contentment he hadn't known in a long time. The squirrel curled up next to him, its soft fur brushing against the dwarf's hand. The dwarf gently stroked the squirrel's back, marveling at how such a small creature could have such a big impact on his life. He realized that the forest, with all its mysteries and wonders, was a place where he could belong, a place where he could find peace and friendship. The dwarf closed his eyes, feeling the warmth of the squirrel beside him and the gentle rustling of the leaves above. He knew that he was no longer alone in the forest. He had found a true friend. As night fell, the dwarf and the squirrel remained under the mushroom, listening to the soothing sounds of the forest. The dwarf no longer felt the fear that had once gripped him so tightly. Instead, he felt a sense of belonging, a connection to the forest and all its creatures. The squirrel's presence had shown him that there was nothing to fear in the forest, only beauty and friendship waiting to be discovered. The dwarf knew that from this day forward, he would no longer hide in fear, but would embrace the wonders of the forest with an open heart. The moon rose high in the sky, casting a silvery light over the forest. The dwarf and the squirrel sat quietly together, enjoying the peacefulness of the night. The dwarf felt a deep sense of contentment, knowing that he had overcome his fears and found a friend who would always be by his side. The forest was no longer a place of fear, but a place of wonder and joy. The dwarf smiled to himself, grateful for the squirrel's friendship and the new life he had found in the forest. As he drifted off to sleep, he knew that tomorrow would bring new adventures and he was no longer afraid.